Hi, everybody. Matt Savage here with Sean McCormick of the Aria and Tom Wheaton of Faded Spade. And we're here to talk about the Faded Spade cards. We use them for the very first time uh, on the World Poker Tour at the Aria. Now, Sean, I know your uh, players uh, in the Tournament of Champions enjoy playing with those. Can you give us a little feedback about that? People come to us all the time and pitch things, new cards, new chips, new any any device you can have in poker. But I'm always looking. I'm always looking. And uh, Tom did present to me uh, the Faded Spade cards, and I was like, okay, here we go, another another product to maybe just shove aside, or you know, it may or may not work. But then I, I really I researched Tom himself, and I'm like, wow, this guy is a poker player. And I'm always looking for someone with their hand on the industry that you know just has a product for poker players, by poker players. And that's what Tom brings to the table. So I was like, I'll give him a shot and uh, what other event to do it and then TOC. Tom, tell us a little bit about how the idea even came to be. I mean, I know there was cards out there, there was a few different companies, yeah. but what gave you the idea that something needed to be better? You know, we felt like it was time for a change in terms of playing cards. We felt like there was room for improvement in terms of quality, um, in terms of brand, uh, and, and a card that could be truly the poker playing card. And that's where Faded Spade was born. It was born out of pure poker passion, wanting to improve something that has been stale for a long time. You know, I you had you come out to the Commerce Casino and we took a few different looks at the cards and you know, we made changes to them right away based on just information that I had talked to other people at the Commerce about. And I know that you really care about the cards and, and making changes. Tell us a little bit about some of the comments that happened here in the Tournament of Champions. Yeah, so overall, great feedback about the quality. Um, great feedback about the playability, the durability. Some feedback was that players wanted to see the middle pips a bit larger in size, so they could be seen from the three, two, three, the seven, eight seat a little bit better. That's something we're gonna do. It's like Sean said, you know, this is a company by poker players, for poker players, with feedback directly from the best poker tournament and poker directors in the country. We take that feedback to heart because we want Faded Spade to be the poker playing card, not just for the WPT, but poker players everywhere. I know, again, you know, it's been so many different uh, iterations of cards that we've seen out there. Um, you know, I think that a lot of times we don't really take into account that if these aren't poker players or people that are in the industry doing these things. What can you tell me about, you know, going forward, your intentions on using Faded Spade? So we're, uh, we're actively looking to use them not only just in the poker room, but on our televised tables. And, you know, poker cards are the backbone of the entire game. Like, they, the, the game doesn't exist without us. So we take it very seriously. And, you know, Tom and I have already spoke. We will go through a lot of trial and error. And uh, my president, as we know, uh, is a huge poker player, Mr. Bobby Baldwin. So he's seen cards through the 70s, 80s, 90s, and today. And, uh, you know, he will have a lot of input into that. And uh, I'm hoping he gives us the green light we're looking good so far so uh, we get that extra you know we get those pips bigger and everything's good and the quality check is good it looks like we have a partnership moving forward what is the goal of faded spade the goal is this the cards are the greatest tool of our poker game and we want to bring greatness back to the greatest tool of our poker game that's our end goal to be the preferred poker playing card of poker players across the globe